This is the current transmitter they were going to plan to send in the high altitude balloon. Right now it's hooked up to a microcontroller development board which helps us program this microcontroller. This microcontroller sends data very quickly and you can see the data is represented by this light turning on and off. And the form of modulation we're using is a simple frequency shift and it only has two frequencies. So when this light is on it's one frequency and when this light is off it's another frequency. Over here is the oscillator board and this generates a 28 megahertz signal which is within the amateur radio band that we're licensed for and then it modulates that signal shifting frequency every time this light flashes and on board is a series of MOSFETs there are five MOSFETs each one of them is capable of handling about 200 milliwatts of power so this should safely dissipate one watt of power when it's turned on it's in class C configuration you can see some inductors over there stirring some charge and uh, nothing too special this adjusts bias of the gate of the MOSFET and we have a resistor and a reverse bias LED here which acts as a veracitor for a variable capacitor to adjust uh, capacitance to ground on one of the legs of the crystal. The crystal is way back there and that's a 28.6 megahertz crystal. I'm pulling it a little bit down in frequency here you can see I'm at 28.05. If I turn on the audio, you can hear the text, or you can hear the data decoding. The frequency changes every time that light goes on. Now on the screen here, you can see the two frequencies. It's shifting back and forth between very quickly. There's a space after every line of data is sent. Also, you should be able to see the data coming through. It's actually decoding this audio into data, and it's showing up in real time here. It's sending a series of information. I'm going to turn the audio off. It's sending a series of information, including the call sign, my call sign, the clock, which is uh, the epoch time, latitude, and it sends the decimal fraction three times to help with error checking, longitude, and then the same thing, and then we have internal temperature sent as a reference voltage, external temperature as a reference voltage. These units are in milliwatts, or in millivolts. Um, P is pressure, barometric pressure sensor. X is the transmit power. I want to measure the voltage drop when we're transmitting to assess how well the batteries are working and how much power we have left in them. The same thing, receive voltage when it's not transmitting, and the voltage of the microcontroller. The microcontroller will have its own power supply. Also, the S1 is to see how many text messages it's sent so far. Um, F0, F is an indication as to whether or not it's falling. I want it to do certain commands when it's falling that it doesn't normally do, such as send telemetry more often. And this will be an indication as to whether or not it's falling. And maybe it'll help me pinpoint exactly when it begins to fall. But this project is slowly coming together, and I think we've got the radio side of it working pretty well. I'll put some schematics once I finalize the designs.